Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Hara Fizi from University of Malaysia Perdis. So, welcome to my class, which is the topic application of insulating material in high voltage engineering. So, I hope all of you can follow this class until the end. Okay. So, after you completing the lesson, a student should be able to, or the participant able to uh, briefly uh, describe, okay, the basic uh, of insulating material concept and the classification based on the International uh, Electrotechnical Commission IEC standard. And then the second, uh, able to differentiate uh, the concept of implication of insulating material in electrical apparatus such as uh, power transformer, rotating machines, um, circuit breaker, cables, uh, power capacitor, high, high voltage machine and the uh, horsepower motor. So this is the outline for today. We have uh, a uh, outline here. Okay, uh, this is just a small brief about the application of the insulating material. Okay, we have an introduction. We have an application in power transformer, rotating machines, circuit breaker, cables, uh, power capacitor, high voltage bushing, and the horsepower motor. Okay. Uh, so as we know, the all electrical system requires some kind of the insulation uh, to prevent the short circuit and the uh, leaking current. So what is the short circuit? Okay, the short circuit is a major type of electrical accident that can cause the serious damage to your electrical system. Okay, they occur when a low uh, resistance part not suited to carry the electricity receive a high volume electrical current. Okay, in the simpler term, okay, short circuit happen when the hot wire touch uh, conductive object uh, it's not supposed to. Okay, the result of the short circuit can be appliance and damage, electrical shock, or even the fire. Okay. Uh, and if you are not taking any preventive uh, measures against the short circuit, you are only increasing the risk this uh, situation happening. Okay, how about the uh, leakage current? Okay, the leakage current is the current flow that flow through the protective ground uh, conductor to ground. In the absence of the grounding connection, okay, it is a current that could uh, flow from any connective part or the surface of non-conductive part to the ground if a conductive part uh, was available such as a human body. So we have a three form of insulator. For the first, we have a solid, we have a liquid and we have a gases. So the form of insulator is uh, applied for the different applications such as for the solid, uh, for such as uh, cables, for the liquid we have a uh, for transformer and uh, we have a gases, uh, normally the gases we apply to the GIS, G gas insulated system. So every uh, high voltage equipment should have a insulator. Okay, this is the important. Okay, uh, the performance of the insulator is depend on the temperature. So the performance is depend on the withstand with the application we use. Okay, uh, the classification also is according to their temperature rating. Okay, the insulating material must be able uh, to withstand the electrical stress and in addition to should be able to withstand the certain other stress uh, namely during the manufacture, uh, storage and operation. Okay, and the performance of the insulation is depend on it the operating temperature. Okay, the higher temperature, uh, the higher will be the rated it chemical deterioration. Uh, the insulating material are grouped into the different uh, classes with the temperature limit. So based on this table, we can see here uh, the class O and A. Okay, they have a temperature limit uh, 90 degree to 105 uh, degree Celsius. Uh, but they have a different material uh, compared to the B and C. Okay, for the material uh, O and A. Uh, they use uh, various uh, organic materials uh, with or without the impregnation. So what is the impregnation? Okay, they letting the solid material absorb the some liquid. So, so this is uh, quite different compared to the B and C. Uh, so we can see the material for B and C, they use uh, various organic material with or without the binder. And the uh, class C, they have a no limit of the temperature. 
Okay, based on the next table here, this is the uh, the classification is based on the IEC. So this is a uh, quite detail compare the previous um, table. Okay, you can uh, all of you can read uh, the certain material they use for the class uh, Y, A, E. Uh, B, F, H and C but according this one the class F, H and C is depend on the class B but they use the different material so for the next uh, we will go to the application of the insulating material in electrical apparatus so every component in the high voltage equipment should have a um, insulating material okay this is the list of the uh, application in electrical apparatus such as uh, power transformer, rotating machines, uh, circuit breaker, uh, power capacitors, high voltage machine and the small machine. So I will uh, explain uh, this one after this. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.